Hey everybody, welcome back to another video here. This is video number two that I'm shooting on the same day. So you're probably wondering why is he still dressed up in his Sunday best for this other video? Because it's very likely that I release this video tomorrow, which will be the day after the Super Bowl. Or who knows, maybe I forget and wind up releasing this video on Tuesday. <laughs> Anyway, th this is what us YouTubers do sometimes. We shoot a bunch of videos on the same day and then we release them throughout the week. So that's the reason why. Now you know my secret, right? Okay, so I wanted to kind of continue the conversation about uh, ownership change, the sale of the commanders, and some of the information go you know swirling around all of that. So I touched on this at the tail end of the last video that I did about the sale of the commanders and the update on all that news. And you can look at that video. Uh, so go back and look at that video if you don't mind, ladies and gentlemen. Um, it, it's a little bit of a lengthy video, but I give you a lot of good information on what's going on. So Sean Payton, who just recently uh, accepted a deal to become the Denver Broncos' new head coach, for next season um, was being interviewed on a radio show and he had mentioned that one or maybe a couple of the bidders for the Washington Commanders had reached out to him and said, hey, if we win the bid for the Washington Commanders, will you become our new next head coach? And this really was like a holy cow Batman type of, of thing, right? Because um, this signaled to me that, number one, I don't know how they would be able to do this, right? Because I've said all along, there's no way, despite what happens, um, there's no way that new ownership would be able to come in and clean house with uh, the head coach because you're already kind of starting off your ownership right when the new league year starts. And so this is right when, um, you know, free agency starts and then you're already working on uh, your draft picks and stuff. So you got all that in motion. You really, it would be a horrible time to just clean house uh, for your coaching staff at that point and throw in another head coaching staff. And they're like, you know, I don't know if they have any plans or not, but, um, Having said all that, that's what was said. Now, uh, that that can raise red flags to me, and that could also signal that you know Ron Rivera's time in Washington's coming to an end, unless unless that he is able to not only get the team into the playoffs next season, but really make a deep run in the playoffs. I mean, I'm talking NFC Championship game because I really do think that um, the next owner is not going to mess around. They're going to want to have their own people in there. They're going to want to have their own staff. They're going to want to have their own general manager. They're going to want to have their own coaching staff. Or they're going to want to have their general manager choose the next coaching staff which is probably the best way to go about it, right? So, you know, I, I don't think you're going to see Ron Rivera back in 2024. Um, I, I think he's going to be gone unless he really makes a strong push and that, you know, this commander's team winds up winning 12 or 13 games and at least, at least gets to the championship game because I, I really feel like his days are numbered. And um, for some of you, you're probably jumping up and down for joy. And for others, you're probably like, well, you know, I like Ron Rivera. I don't want to see this happen to him. And, you know, I love Ron Rivera as a man. I love him as a man. You know, he, he's, he's a great guy. He, he's a fantastic gentleman. Um, but he's not been the best head coach for us. He's been North Turner for us. I hate to say that, but that's really been the case. He's been... He's been North Turner 2.0 for us, and we have got to be able to have somebody who's really going to come in and is going to change our fortunes on the field. Now, he's brought in um, some good players for us as well, but he's also, he, he can't take the credit for all the good players we've had, but he's brought in some good players too. 
Um, but at the end of the day, it comes down to wins and losses and how successful you are on the football field. And quite frankly, the commanders have not been that successful. We've had streaks where the commanders have gotten on win streaks during the season. But it's all for naught when you get to the end of the season and you're sitting on the couch watching the playoffs. And so new ownership is going to realize that and they're going to want more out of their team than just you know, a guy who's, who's, who's well-liked but doesn't really get the job done at the end of the day. Now, I think he's done a lot for the culture of the franchise, and I think that's what we needed for him to do is to do a lot for the culture. Now, if there was an opportunity for Ron Rivera to say, hey, I'm going to step back from, as head coach, maybe I'll take a front office role, if a new owner was willing to do that, and if Ron Rivera was willing to do that, then I would be okay with that. Uh, I, now, you know, you, you can let me know in the comments section how you feel about that, but um, I would m much rather see him in some sort of front office role, making sure that the culture change was, was, wasn't all for naught, right? Which I, hopefully you would think uh, the right owner would solidify a culture change. Uh, but it's also good having somebody with uh, good ethics, like Ron Rivera, in there to solidify it completely. Uh, but as far as head coach, we definitely need somebody who's going to bring championships to us. And, uh, you know, quite frankly, we haven't seen that. So um, I really think that Ron Rivera's days are going to be numbered um, and who knows? I mean, now, of course, it's all water under the bridge at this point for Sean Payton because he's not coming to Washington. He's going to be in Denver now. So there's not really going to be a coach that a new owner is going to be able to come in and say, we're going to take this guy over Ron Rivera at this point, uh, especially the timing that new ownership is going to take over. Again, this is what I've been saying all along for the past, uh, you know, couple of months or so is that this timing that new ownership takes over uh, new league year starting your your knee deep into um, scouting and free agency and getting ready for the draft it's really not the right time to be making a change in coaching staff so especially head coach right I mean you can probably make changes in Position, position coaches and things like that's really not going to um, really change a lot, but head coaching can't really do that, and scouting and all that stuff. So you're really going to have to roll with it for uh, this year. Now, that's not to say that you don't fire your coach halfway through the season if the season starts looking exactly like you know carbon copy of the seasons before. That could very well happen. Um, and that might be a good thing, you know, honestly, because it gets you kind of a head start on getting the next great head coach in Washington. But um, I, I'd see that this is literally a lame duck year for Ron Rivera, unless that he takes the team all the way, um, or at least to the NFC Championship game. I honestly think that. Uh, maybe I'm being over dramatic, but I don't know. I, I really think it's going to take that. I, I think it's going to be more of that, and it's going to be um, less of, well, as long as he gets them into the playoffs. I think we're done with that at this point. I, you know, I think a new owner is going to be like, you should have had him in the playoffs all th this whole time. I mean, you got him into the playoffs that first year. Why, did, why couldn't you get him to the playoffs the year after that? You know, okay, your your starting quarterback was hurt, had a backup in, okay. But Taylor Heineke at that point had gotten enough reps and was winning football games. He's beaten Tom Brady. <laughs> He's beaten Aaron Rodgers. You know, he beat Jalen Hurts this year. You know, the only team this year to beat... Philadelphia with Jalen Hurts starting as quarterback. So there was really no excuse at this point. I think you had a quarterback who had enough starts that could have gotten you into the playoffs and had playoff experience as well. So um, no excuse. No excuse at this point. Uh, Ron Rivera is definitely on the hot seat. 
and we're saying this and we haven't even started. We haven't even gotten through the Super Bowl yet at the time of this recording. Now, by the time that you watch this video, it could be Monday or Tuesday, but, you know, we haven't even gotten into the new league year and Ron Rivera is already on the hot seat. Let me know in the comments section what you think. Please, 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 I say this in every video, but please, um, the least you can do is like this video. It helps the algorithm. It helps to get this video recommended out to other folks. Um, comment on this video. Let me share, share your thoughts with me. Um, share this video out with other people. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And if you like to help this channel out even more than that, uh, visit my Etsy page. Uh, my Etsy, uh, shop here i have a lot of cool stuff i'm adding stuff i've added stuff since this little advertisement here but i've got shirts i've got mugs as you can see commander's mugs um i got um, banners you know i did redskins banner i'll do a commander's banner i did cowboys i did uh bangles i really like the bangles one honestly um you know i even did a concept washington red wolves thing um a concept Washington Commanders if they needed an update for their logo, which they badly need. Red Hogs shirt, a Def Leppard shirt. I mean, come on. I, I'm doing a little bit of something of everything. I even got stuff for the youth. Um, I got great wall art. I mean, fantastic. That would go great in a gaming room or something. Um, this is a fabulous piece that I did for New York City. It's watercolor, a space scene. So it's envy artwork envy artwork folks so please check it out uh support me so i can provide you with better content for this channel and guess what i will see you in the next one take care hey you stayed until the very end thank you so much watch another one right now